Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Crock-Pot Lunch Crock Food Warmer. If you're grossed out by the filthy microwave at work, this is a great alternative. And some of you are so busy at work that you can't even leave your desk to eat lunch, and with this you won't have to. It comes in this pretty pink and other attractive colors. It is adorable to look at and makes for a very attractive lunch container. I think it's the round, pudgy shape of it that makes it look so cute. How the unit works is you plug it in and it warms the cooked food. It's intended for those who want to take it to work or travel with it. All you need is an electrical outlet to plug into. It's very light, it weighs about one and a half pounds, measures five and a half inches tall without the handle, and six and a half inches wide. Now this unit just warms food, it does not cook food, so you cannot put raw ingredients in here. It's supposed to heat up cooked food low and slow. Inside is the stainless steel container and lid. The removable stainless steel container holds 20 ounces and is dishwasher safe. It measures two and a half inches deep up to the max fill line and is four and a half inches across inside. You can leave this base at work, carry the insert with lid home and transport food that way. You can also purchase additional containers separately if you'd like. The cord is 36 inches long and there's cord storage on the bottom. You can heat up soups, stews, lasagna, and dips with this unit. This would also be good for dorm rooms due to its compact size. The easiest thing to do is the night before work, place your food in the metal container, cover it, and put it in the fridge. The next morning, put the container in the base, and you're ready to go. You don't have to spend any time making lunch in the morning. To test the lunch crock, I'll heat up soup, leftover rice with curry, and tuna pasta. There is no on off button, so you have to remember to plug and unplug the unit. I always set a timer on my phone, otherwise I will forget to plug and unplug it. First, I'll heat up some homemade soup. Just kidding, this is straight from a can. The can is obviously stored at room temperature. So you can see it's designed to perfectly fit a 19 ounce can of soup. Cover it with the lid. The lid is not leak proof, so I would suggest keeping the unit upright while you're traveling. It seems nice and tight. Drop this into the crock, screw on the lid, and plug in the unit. There's a little power light here and it's red, so the unit is on and it's heating up your food. I'll check on this in half an hour and see how it's doing. It's been about 10 minutes and the outside of the crock is warm. It's not hot, but it's just warm. The lid is also warm. It's been 30 minutes, I'll check on my soup. As you can see, the lid has popped off. The manual does say not to force the lid back on. I'll taste it and see if it's hot. The soup is hot and ready to eat at this temperature. It's not super hot or boiling or anything, but it is perfectly hot enough to eat right now. So the crock pot warms up your soup in 30 minutes. The steel container is hot, so I wouldn't suggest lifting it out. You could probably eat straight from the base like this. After the soup was heated up, I unplugged the unit and let it cool down completely. The stainless steel container, lid, and plastic lid are all dishwasher safe, but I would recommend washing everything in warm soapy water. You can use a soft sponge, but nothing abrasive. Thinner, more watery foods like soup will heat up quickly. Let's see how long it takes to heat up rice and some curry. I've got cooked leftover basmati rice. And some egg curry. Got three egg halves. And some gravy. Cover this. The rice and egg curry were refrigerated, so it's very cold. The warming time will vary for different foods depending on how thin or thick the consistency is and also the temperature of the food. I'll put the container into the base, cover it, plug in the unit to turn it on, 
And there's our power light. I'll check the crock in half an hour. It's been 30 minutes and there's absolutely no smell of the rice or curry. As you can see the lid has already popped open. I did hear the pop earlier. I'll check the gravy. The gravy is not hot yet. Let me get all the way down and check the rice. It's not ready, so we will cook this for another half an hour and check on it. Now it's been an hour total. It feels warm, there is steam coming out. I'll taste it. Nothing is stuck to the bottom. The rice is warm. And the gravy on top is warm. You do want to stir this before eating because the rice and gravy on the sides are warmer than the middle. I'll check the middle of the egg to see if that's warm. That's warm too. It's not hot, but it is warm and it's perfectly fine to eat at this temperature. If you like your food extra hot, I would leave this on for a longer period of time. I noticed that the rice is starting to stick a teeny bit to the sides. So I think it's best to mix whatever gravy you're using with the rice when you heat it up. Because the crock pot is not intended to heat up dry food. It does need a little bit of liquid to properly warm up your food. The rice and curry tastes really fresh, just like I made it yesterday. The rice hasn't turned mushy or fallen apart. The crock pot did a really good job of heating this up. Next, I'll warm my macaroni and cheese with tuna. There's also some shredded carrots in here. This is very cold right from the fridge. I did add a little bit of milk to it because when you refrigerate tuna pasta, it does tend to get a little bit dry, so it needs a little bit of moisture when you heat it up. Put the container into the base. Cover it, screw the lid on. And I'll check this in 45 minutes. It's been 45 minutes and I'll check the tuna pasta. I feel the steam. It's nice and hot. So in 45 minutes you have nicely heated pasta. You can see the milk is nicely incorporated into the pasta. It's not dry. So the crock pot did a great job of heating up the pasta, the soup, and the rice with curry. Nothing really stuck to the inside. The food uh, did not get burnt or dried out. Everything was moist and delicious. This unit is great for those who want to save some money and eat healthier by bringing home cooked food to work. The warmed food tastes very close to what you cooked the night before. Since the food is warmed slowly, there's no risk of the food getting tough and chewy like in a microwave. The biggest advantage of getting this is you'll have one less stressful thing to deal with at work, waiting in line for the microwave and cleaning up. It's also great for cooler weather when you want to eat hot cooked food and not a cold salad. I hope you found this review useful. And if you did, please like this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.